Welcome to Bitly, where you can transform unwieldy URLs into beautifully short, intelligent links and share them with the world. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Stream and Tech Now. Now, I wanted to preface this video by first saying I'm not saying all Bitly links are bad. In fact, the very premise of Bitly and Tiny URL or link shorteners in general are excellent. I personally use Bitly myself. I create Bitly links on a regular basis, and I'm simply pointing out what is going on and also point out one secret feature if you use Bitly, then you definitely need to know. Now, you may already know about this, but chances are many don't, and this is just an outstanding safety feature. So first of all, if you don't know what Bitly is, in a nutshell, it's a link shortening application or software that can transform your crazy long URLs into a very short one. You can even tailor or customize the last part of the link to whatever you want, which is really a great feature but herein lies the issue so think about this for a second it takes that long link that you can see what it is and then it shortens it at the same time it hides what it is so what happens is is you click on this new link thinking you know what it is but then it instantaneously redirects you to a website that it's hiding Hackers can redirect that link to nefarious sites and download all kinds of malware. So it can redirect you to a site that you think is down, for example, and you get that 404 website down error that you guys are probably very familiar with. And you say, oh, it's just down, when in fact it's downloading ransomware on your device. It's such an easy window or opportunity for hackers to do this. And instead of them doing it in phishing emails, they're now turning to bit.ly links because many folks are getting smarter with their emails. Now, I've had several friends where this happened to, and evidently it's happening more and more. Well, Bitly has a great secret feature called the plus sign that you simply add to the end of the link before you click on it to first check it. Brilliant, right? So you simply take that Bitly link, and instead of clicking on it, first you just copy and paste it into a browser and add a plus sign to the very end. And it will take you to a special safety page. And as you can see, it will tell you all kinds of great details about the actual website, like is it an HTTPS versus an HTTP? Now, if you don't know the difference, check out this quick video and I'll add it in the description. But it will tell you how many clicks, the name and title of the website that it's going to take you to. So please, please do yourself a favor. Make sure if you're going to use a bit.ly link, you add that plus sign at the end before you click it. Please share this video with your friends and family. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time on Streaming Tech Now.